don't know who to trust. Welcome to the 2022 WNBA All-Star Game. I'm Blake Suniga, joined by Tim Schwartz and Brian Banifatemi. For the first time ever, we're in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. Brian, Blake, it is so great to be here. They love hoops here in Chi-Town, a championship caliber city. And last year, it was USA versus the rest of the WNBA. A different format this time around. Yeah, that was awesome, but I still think this year is going to be a lot of fun as well. The All-Star Game is the showcase of the summer. You have the best players in the world, so let's get this thing rolling. Now here's a Wale. Pass to Griner. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt. The WNBA All-Star Game, it's just so important for the league. Absolutely, it's a chance for the stars to get together, show the basketball world just how incredible these athletes are. Tonight we see the best the WNBA has to offer. And it's really for the fans as well, because you're always wondering, what if we saw some of these players team up? Well, for one night at least, it's a reality. Pass to Jones. Back to Vandersloot. Just five on the clock. Jones. And down it goes. Two points. And we're just about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Parker inside. She's guarded by Griner. And it's blocked by Brittany Griner. Well, I mean, you don't want to test Griner. No way. Incredible length and nasty streak. She's set block records in the WNBA. Now here's a Goomba Wale. Back to Wilson. Four on the clock. There's John Quell Jones with the three. And it's Brianna Stewart with the rebound. Now here's Gray. She's guarded by Wilson. And it's Gray missing. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Agunda Wale with it. Della Don picks her up. And that puts them in the lead. And as a defender on Ogubin Wale, you want to take away her chance to score. So smart by Arike to move the rock. Now here's Parker. Pass to Stewart. That's good. And it's Candace Parker with the assist. And another look here at the 2K drive. Putting it on the deck and just going. Really made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Now here's Griner. Here's Vandersloot. Agunba Wale with it. The three. And that's good. Bookie Vandersloot for three. The East All-Stars trailing. And here's Ionescu. Outside, Stewart. Five on the clock. Let's go with a three. Reiner with the rebound. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Vandersloot. Pass to Gumbawale. Got it. Good job in the low post. The floor general sensibilities of Vandersloot on full display. Awesome job finding the wide open teammate. Watch left. Now Stewart. Nice defense from Asia Wilson. That's a surprise. Out of character for her to miss those when the D's not right in her face. Outside of Wale. It's stolen by Elena Deladon. Ionescu right side. And the basket is good. Over the course of her outstanding career, we've seen Deladon become a willing passer, increase her assist numbers. Vandersloot outside. Outside of Wale. Just five to shoot. To the right side. John Quell Jones with the three. Offensive rebound. 
Johnson. Well, it was only a matter of time. They finally get the bucket. Look, it's no secret that rebounding is all about effort. And that's something Wilson is never lacking. And the East All-Stars call time here. Ionescu. Pass to Deladon. The kick out to Ionescu. The shot's good on the assist by Elena Deladon. They really set Ionescu up for success there. Perfectly positioned with a good look at the hoop. Now here's Agubawale. Wilson the screen. To the inside. Rihanna Stewart with the steal. Kick out to Ionescu. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. They had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And when she's open like that, you don't see her miss that sort of look very often. Now here's Vandersloot. A rebound by Brianna Stewart. Gray with it. Pass to Ionescu. Here's Stewart. The shot goes down, and it gets this game back to even. Sign up call the Western All-Stars.
here is Diggins Smith. Reiner with the screen. And it's Skyler Diggins Smith with the triple. The East All Stars trailing. Here's Plum. From deep three point range. No luck on that one. And the West will go the other way with it. Now here's Diggins Smith. Tight defense on her. Five to shoot. Puts up a three. A rebound by Della Don. Now the East All-Stars with it. Pass to Plum. Now here's Gray. Here's Howard. Guarded by Diggins Smith. Pass break the West All-Stars. There's the three. And it's Skylar Diggins Smith missing again. Right side, Howard. Deladon outside. Boots over to Rossi. Deladon gets the bucket. And the awareness Deladon possesses in these situations is incredible. It's so fun watching her beat the clock. Now here's Diggins Smith. Pass to Griner. It's good. The assist that time from Skyler Diggins Smith. It, you know, it, it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Plum with it. Now guarded by Tarasi. Griner with the rebound. The Western All Stars with the lead. Skyler Diggins Smith outside. It's hauled in by the Eastern All-Stars. Yeah, she's been off her game this quarter. Just hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go down. And there's the call on Eastern All-Stars. That is her first foul of the game. outside. Four on the shot clock. Gray. The East All-Stars with another miss. Rebounding is going to be a focal point for them in this one, fellas. Yeah, Brian, it has been so far. They've already got a nice edge on the glass. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. Smith outside. over Misamun. Doesn't go that time. And the West will go the other way with it. Outside, Diggins Smith. Off the mark there with the three. Yeah, I mean, she's just been way off the mark this quarter. It is getting rough. Outside, Plum. No good. That would have tied it. And it's the West All-Stars with the ball. Three-point lead. Here's Collier. Out of bounds. It'll be the East All-Stars ball. That is such a careless pass. You got to keep your head in the game. Now Williams. Pass to Bonner. Six to shoot. Down low. Deflected. And stolen by Satu Savali. To the middle. Yes, and it's Nafisa Collier picking up the assist. Don't underestimate Collier's ability as a distributor. She'll make passes that make you say, wow. Here's Williams. That one misses. Would have counted had it gone. And that concludes the first quarter of play. West All-Stars on top, up by five. And don't go away as we'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a bit. And it's the second quarter right in the thick of this All-Star game. It's already been a lot of fun. Now 
Now the East All-Stars with it. It's a five-point game. Now here's Bonner. Sabrina Ionescu from outside. In the hoop for her third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. Outside quickly. Pass to Gumbawale. Clock at six. Back to Quigley. The three ball. That shot off. Ionescu outside. Parker with the ball. Guarded by Jones. Puts one up from 19. It's rebounded by Quigley. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. Now here's a Wale. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot, and we'll go to the line. Believe it or not, this is the first All-Star game held in Chicago, a fantastic hoop city. Well, the Sky winning the 2021 title, of course. The Windy City was the capital of the basketball world in the 90s. The Bulls winning those six titles, and so many great WNBA and NBA players hail from Chicago. And she knocks down the first one. You know, Agumba Wale has incredible athletic ability. It's going to be fun to watch her grow in this league and continue to get better. And she makes both free throws. Quarter number two with just over a minute of play. Pass to Williams. Stewart. Ionescu outside. Bonner with it. Six on the shot clock. Back to Ionescu. From 12 feet out, the Western All-Stars grab the miss. Wilson right side. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And they continue to control the glass. I think they've been the more physical team, guys, and that's why they're ahead. Usually the more physical, more aggressive team wins the game. Now here is Ionescu. She's got eight. Outside Stewart. Three-pointer. He can't get that one. And the West will go the other way with it. Outside Quigley. Arjun Bawale. Screen by Griner. Pass to Wilson. Howard. To the paint. Griner. That's good. And it's Ryan Howard with the assist. They're just killing them in the paint. You can say that again. I mean, the defenders aren't being nearly aggressive enough down low. They're just killing them in the paint. Thank you. And the East All-Stars call time here. Bam! All-Stars making a switch here. And 
and we're just over two and a half minutes into the second period. Inside. And that's out of bounds. The West All-Stars are going to retain possession. And the East All-Stars making a change here. Shoots from 12. And a rebound by Gray. Well, I'm going to say the defense got pretty lucky right there because she's going to make a lot more of those than she misses when she gets that much room. Now here's Plum. She hasn't defense. scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. The 2018 All-Star Game was the first that pitted captains and two all-time greats at that. Team Parker defeated Team Deladon 119 to 112. Now Candace oh, and Elena picking take their teams. The game played Two in front shots. of nearly 16,000 in Minneapolis. Just, you know, one of those classic all-star games. That free throw missing. And we all know Plum has lots of talent. So now it's up to her to continue adding to her game. He hits the second from the line. Vandersloot with it. Pass to Gumbawale. Shot clock at six. Back to Vandersloot. 11 feet out. And she drops that one in. Figuring out ways to score inside at 5'8". Vandersloot has multiple ways to finish. Deladon outside. Poked away. Agunda Wale with the steal. Pass break the West All-Stars. Pass to Vandersloot. Over Parker. And she can't extend the lead to double digits. The East All-Stars trailing. Deladon with it. Shot clock at five. Boots over Agumba Wale. Deladon, good. Strong mid-range game with the sound ability to get her shot off. Defenses have their hands full with Deladon. Pass to Agumba Wale. Reiner, and she comes up with the deuce. She was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. Deladon outside. And here is Gray. Guarded now by Agumba Wale. Gray, no good. Well, controlling the boards, they're plus five in that category. Yeah, and look, rebounding, it's not a glamour stat, but you look at the scoreboard and you see the result. Now here's Wilson. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, nine. Here's Greiner. That's good, and so Courtney Vandersloot gets the assist. Well, her shooting has been outstanding. Definitely, you know, one of the reasons why they're winning this game. And they're looking for time some out, kind out. of spark here. Yeah, full stretch offensively. They need a buffer. And the East All-Stars call time here.
to change it up. Here's Jones, looking for her first basket still in this one. Gray outside, back to Plum. Down to five on the shot clock, over Howard. Greiner with the rebound. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding, it's been terrific. They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. Now here's Plum. Pass to Gray, clock at six. Picked by Jones. Three-pointer, Kelsey Plum. Good, and it's Chelsea Gray who picks up the assist. They're hitting the long-range shots that uh, they were missing in the first quarter. But uh, still, they've got some ground to make up. Higgins Smith with it, picked up by Plum. Right side, Diggins Smith. Here's Greiner. It's good as five others before it for her. He's now shooting six for seven. It's not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. Just too many looks from in close. You know, usually when teams give up runs like this, it's because they allow chances from inside. Make them beat you from deep. A hard worker who is always getting better. Gray's mid-range game is pretty fine-tuned now. Shot from the wing. Diggins Smith with the bucket. And here's Plum. Deladon outside. Pass to Gray. From about 16, the Western All-Stars grab the miss. You know, that's a quality look right there, just a little off with her release. Yeah, and that has her shaking her head. I mean, no way around it. That's a tough miss. Reiner, yes, once again for her on an excellent seven for eight shooting night so far. Great hustle play right there, guys. Energy, passion. This is what you play the game for. Now here's Plum. Gray right side. Pass to Deladon. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Off the pass. In rhythm, good night. Elena Deladon is automatic. Such timeout, perfect timeout. mechanics on the shot. Timeout call for Western All Stars.
Here's Diggin Smith. She's got five. Low block shot. Not gonna go that time. So the East will take it the other way. Uh, okay, look, look. I know she isn't having the best of games from the floor, but it hasn't seemed to hurt them. That's good by Jones. These inside looks are what Jones is all about, and she knows how to outwork the defense. Outside, Diggin Smith. Diana Taurasi on the wing. Drills the three-pointer. There's no excuse for leaving a shooter like her open beyond the arc. None. Ionescu outside. Gray outside. Deladon a screen. Just five to shoot. Buries it from three-point range. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Yeah, slow start, but they're starting to heat up, and that could help them narrow the gap. That and some stops. Now here's Diggin Smith. Collier outside. Jones outside. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Gray in the post. She's covered by Tarasi. Gray, no good. Jones outside. Pass to Diggin Smith. Now Miesemann over Smith. The second chance effort. And Jones lays it up and in. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more aggressive on the offensive glass. It's paid off with the higher rate of second chance buckets. Great effort to build this lead. And normally the team with more effort wins. Gray makes it off the glass. With the wide array of offensive moves, Gray will pretty much make you pick your poison when you're guarding her. Pass to Collier. Nisaman. Jones, guarded by Jones. And so that's the end of the first half. West All-Stars on top, up 10. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Second half of the WNBA All-Star Game, the summer showcase for the W. And here are the East All-Stars now. Trailing by 10. Pass to Stewart. Ionescu outside. Della Don, just for to shoot. Here's Stewart. Yes, and it's Elena Deladon picking up the assist. Stewart's presence down low stems from her skills and finesse. She's something to watch and something to admire. Now here's Jones. Now here's Griner. Parker defending. Andersloot outside. Pass to Jones. Elena Deladon with the rebound. Ionescu outside, launches a three, can't hit that one. And the West will go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 14 points. Vandersloot left side. Outside, Agumawale. Over Gray. No good off the back of the rim. The East All-Stars trailing. Pass to Ionescu. Outside for Stewart. And a miss there on the triple. 
outside, Agumawale. The pick by Jones. From the arc. And it's Ionescu with the rebound. It's been a cold spell for them coming out of the half, missing their first three shots. Pass to Parker. Drops in the layup for two. The defense has to do a better job of keeping Parker out of the paint. She's too skilled inside. Timeout call for Western All-Stars. Over the years, some great cities have hosted this game, but which ones have been your favorites, fellas? All right, I'm gonna go with Vegas. They held a couple of these and love going there. A great arena and a great city. I'm gonna have to go with New York. They've already hosted a few, and it's just always special when you play in the Big Apple. Here's Wilson. Jones outside. Masto Gumbawale. Wilson sets a screen. Just five on the clock. Looking to end the drought. Second chance shot. That one, no good. Good work defensively by Candace Parker. Something's got to change for them here. Starting the half 0 for 5 is just not going to cut it in this league. Sabrina Ionescu from outside. No good that time. And the West will go the other way with it. Outside, Agumawale. Jones outside. Back to Agumawale. Pass to Jones. Sinks the triple. With an inside-out game that confuses and overwhelms defenders, Jones is a well-rounded offensive talent. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Sabrina Ionescu from outside. The Western All-Stars grab the miss. They've led by as many as 14 points. Agunvawale with it. Over Gray. And she gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. At 6'6 six, six height, coming in handy for Jones, able to see the floor well and rotate it to the open player. Gray right side. Parker's shot's good. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean, there's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. Man, he's made me hungry, but, but that's right. Five of the last six makes were in tight. They've established themselves inside. Where's the cheese? Pass to Jones. Stolen by Della Don. Here's Ionescu. Here's Stewart, guarded by Jones. Six on the shot clock. And that 
one's good. Stewart, hard to stop, guys. She poses a ton of matchup problems for any opponent. Timeout called the Western All-Stars. The Western All-Stars with the lead. Outside, Agumawale. Pass to Howard. Now Quigley. Bonner defending. The 17-footer. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Parker inside. Working on Jones. Bonner outside, Plum, Elena Deladon on the wing, misses the three. Outside Howard. Pass to Jones. Yep, count it. The combination of 6'6 six, six size and touch with Jonquil Jones. It's special, it's almost one of a kind, and you'd like to see your score inside even more. Parker with the screen, kicks it out to Deladon. Knocks down the three ball. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now here's Agumbawale. She's got six. Oh. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Pass to Stewart, shoots from the baseline. Satu Sabali comes up with the board. Here's the West All-Stars. They've led by as many as 14 points. Outside Agumawale. True on the 14-footer. We talk about players drafted and entering the league in the late 2010s. Arike Okobanwale is one of the few who still uses the mid-range. Now here's Bonner. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Shoots over Jones. Bonner, no good. Here's the West All-Stars. They're leading by eight. Jones with it. She's against Parker. Jones, no good. Outside, Parker. Stewart up top. Pass to Deladon. Plum. Out to the wing. Three pointer, Brianna Stewart. The Western All Stars grab the miss. And here's Agunba Wale. Outside, Sabali. Good, and the assist goes to Agumba Wallace. And here are the East All-Stars now. 
11 point game and the East All-Stars call time here. Thinking back to some classic All-Star games, 2019 was a great one. Yeah, that game featured not only a 20 second shot clock, but also hockey style subs with Team Wilson defeating Team Deladon 129 to 126. Yeah, I mean, that game had crazy rules. You had Brittany Griner with three dunks. Erica Wheeler winning MVP and just getting so emotional. Great to see her win it. That 2019 game was tremendous. outside back to Deladon Bonner five to shoot Courtney Williams for three and she's good on the three ball you have to run at shooters like Williams can't let them uh, catch and fire she'll eat you a lot outside Diggin Smith and here's Diana Taurasi from the arc they got lucky they got lucky. And the defense is taking a big chance, leaving her open behind the arc. And I'm not sure I'm okay with that game plan. Kicks it out to Deladon. Unable to get that one to go. And the West will go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 14 points. Now here's Diggin Smith. She's got five. Collier outside. Back to Diggin Smith. Offline with the three. The East All Stars trailing. Pass to Williams. This one for three. Another three for the East All Stars. It used to be a weakness of her game, but Williams has worked on three point shooting, and her percentages have increased each year in the league. To the middle, Sabali. Well timed pass and goes straight to the bucket for the layup. What a mismatch it's been in the post. I mean, where's the defensive adjustment? They're just getting eaten alive out there. Yeah, I agree. They got to come up with something. A double team, maybe a sub. This is getting ridiculous. Now here's Williams. He's got six. But they'll get another chance. Here's Jones. It doesn't go for her. Some solid defense from Satu Sabali. Pass to Diggin Smith. Fires the three. And Jones pulls it down. She just continues to struggle from the field. Now, her team has been able to overcome her performance, but I'm not certain that she's going to be able to turn it around today. The third quarter comes to a close. West All-Stars on top, up seven. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us.
and she might not be past first playing out of the two guard spot, but she shows here that when she needs to, she can dole out assists. That's right. You know, that's not her primary duty, but when the situation calls for it, she can do it and do it well. Final quarter of the All-Star Game. What a special night on the WNBA calendar. Now here's Vandersloot, covered by Ionescu. Vandersloot right side. Tarasi. Off target from the wing. She's had an off game, but her team has been able to pick up the slack and get it done here today. Now here's Ionescu. She's guarded closely. Good on the bucket. One of the best young playmakers in the league. Ionescu makes passes that other players simply can't. Now that is nice. Glad we got a chance to check out that sweet drive one more time. And in a tight one like this, you gotta dig deep. Find a way to make things happen. Now here's Tarasi. To the paint. Here's Misamon. The shot, no good. So the East will take it the other way. Yanescu has it. She's picked up by Misamon. Out to Gray. Takes the three. The Western All-Stars grab the miss. Pass to Tarasi. Now Vandersloot. Reiner covered by Smith. A nice shot by Griner. The combination of a long frame and a unique skill set make Griner such a tough cover for opponents. Now here is Ionescu. Deladon outside. Puts it up. Wilson pulls it down. The Western All-Stars with the lead. Out to the left wing. Pass to Griner. Back to Vandersloot. Wilson with it. From outside the arc. Elena Deladon with the rebound. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Here's Ionescu. From deep. Well, shot that time, not on target. She hit a couple threes in the first, but so far, just unable to get on court here. Andrew Sloot outside. Pass to Griner. Tarasi. No good on the triple. Deladon outside. The three off on that one and the West will go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Wilson. Back to Misamun. Vandersloot outside. Pass to Tarasi. The three-pointer off the mark. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it for her. The shot by Ionescu, no good. Misamon outside. Back to Vandersloot. Misamon outside. Pass to Wilson from downtown. And another miss by the Western All-Stars. Gray outside. And here is Jones. Ionescu outside. Shot to stop the drought. She can't get that one to fall. And the West will go the other way with it. Vandersloot right side. Pass to Tarasi. Vandersloot outside. Brittany Griner, high post. Tarasi, Deladon covering. 
The defense has nothing to worry about out there with her shooting because she just can't dial it in from deep this half. And it's blocked by Brittany Griner. And so it looks like the East All-Stars will retain possession here. The Western All-Stars making a switch here. Gray right side. Five on the clock. Pass to Gray. Stewart. Basket is good. The assist from Alicia Gray. She's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting that ball to the rim. Outside, Quigley. Picked by Jones. Quigley with it. Gray picks her up. Quigley shot is off. The East All-Stars trailing. Gray outside. Gray outside. Stewart with the screen. Down low. The Western All-Stars grab the miss. Enrique Agumbawale on the wing. Covered by Ionescu. Reiner, good. Just an incredible display of athleticism. Now, Reiner's active on both ends of the floor, and her coaches appreciate that. Now, here's Gray. To the inside. It's stolen by Griner. To the paint. And Wilson gets it to go. Even for a player like Quigley, who is known for her ability to score, you have someone that open, you can't miss her. Pass to Stewart. Asia Wilson with some nice D. Here's the West All-Stars. Outside, Agumawale. Back to Jones. Reiner, Parker defending. Agumawale from long range. He can't hit that time. So the East will take it the other way. Parker with the ball. And it's Wilson picking her up. And the foul called on Griner. Personal foul. That's her first, first foul. foul. And here are the East All-Stars now. They trail by nine points. Gray, guarded by Quigley. Clock at two. The East All-Stars with another miss. And it's the West All-Stars with the ball. Outside, Agunmawale. Pass to Jones. And it's Parker with the steal. To the middle. Here's Stewart. That's good. And it's Candace Parker with the assist. Talk about reading the floor. Parker's teammates feed off her energy as a playmaker. Outside, Agumawale. Shot clock at five. Now Jones. Over Parker. Offensive rebound. Wilson. That shot, no good. Now the East All-Stars with it. Seven point differential. Pass to Stewart. Up and in on the layup. I like the way she's taking advantage of what the defense is giving her, and she's been a key contributor for them this quarter. Outside quickly. Now here's a Wale. Yep, that goes. Just like all the best guards, the elite guards in the world, Arike Ogabanwale finds ways to score inside. Now here is Ionescu. Parker's shot is off. Collier outside. Pass to Jones. Here's Quigley. Jacks up a three. The shot comes out. 
outside. Outside, Stewart. Back to Gray. Let's the three fly. And Collier pulls it down. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's been the result for her over and over. I mean, she just cannot find the bottom of the bucket. Now here's Agumba Wale. Jones, defended by Stewart. The fadeaway. Jones can't hit. Outside, Stewart. Yep, that one goes. So you're not going to pass up that type of look. The Western All-Stars with the lead. Now, Goombawale. Pass to Wilson. Jones. Rebounded by Parker. the West All-Stars. They've led by as many as 14 points. On top of Gunbawale, covered by Ionescu. Outside of Gunbawale. And another miss by the Western All-Stars. Now here is Ionescu, guarded now by Gunbawale. Pass to Stewart. And that one drops. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Now here's Wilson. Outside of Wale. Pass to Jones. Over Parker. And she didn't get quite enough under that one. And here's Bonner. Stewart with the screen. Inside. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Now here's Agumba Wale. Wilson outside. Pass to Agumba Wale. To end the drought. It's hauled in by the Eastern All-Stars. You can tell she thought that triple was going to fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. Takes a step back. Now Parker. She's guarded by Wilson. To take the lead. The putback. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know, they've been extremely efficient and effective getting the ball inside. Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Now here's a Wale. Pass to Wilson. It's not going to go for her. So the East will take it the other way. Ionescu outside. Parker with the screen. The shot by Ionescu, no good. The West All-Stars trailing. Quigley with it. Outside of Wale. Shoots over Bonner. They get it back. Here's Wilson. Good work defensively by Brianna Stewart. Now here's Bonner. Defense right on her. Pass to Gray. Now Stewart. From 12 feet out, with the second effort, and they pick up two. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. 
it doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. Outside, I go Mawale. Pass to Collier. Good, and the assist goes to Agumawale. Don't let her position or a 6'2 height fool you. Call your moves like a guard, a tough cover past the roller. Here's Parker. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. Agumawale from long range. And it's Brianna Stewart with the rebound. This has not been a quarter to remember for her. I mean, what's going on right now? What is this? She's not making any sort of impact for them at John that end of the court. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. A veteran hooper. Parker's been in the game for over a decade. Uh, it's just been an incredible career. Good on the second free throw. Her one miss there could be important. Uh, there's a big difference between a two-point lead and a three-point lead. Now here's Vandersloot. Pass to Griner. Back to Vandersloot. Collier. Griner with the ball. Parker defending. Griner, no good. Now here's Della Don. She's guarded by Griner. And stolen by Nafisa Collier. Out of bounds. It'll be the East All Stars ball. Brittany Griner. That'll be her second foul of the game. Third team foul. Now here is Ionescu. Out to the wing. Della Don. Good. And Sabrina Ionescu gets the dime. The bucket from the scoring machine. Known as Elena Deladon. I mean, seriously, could you create, could you come up with a better offensive player than her? Now here's Vandersloot. Outside, Agumba Wale. Six to shoot. Looking to get back on track. I don't know if she just ran out of gas or what, but she's been awful since the second half started. Gotta get recharged. Pass to Parker. Ionescu. Stewart with the screen. For three. Wilson pulls it down. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I think that he's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. She certainly has not been at her best this quarter, to say the least. Ionescu outside. Elena Della Don on the wing. Let's it go from deep. That one falls through. It's her sixth make from the floor this game, and now six for ten. Vandersloot with it. Picked by Jones. Down low. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. It's been a tough fourth quarter for her. I mean, six shot attempts with only one make to show for it. Get real. Now here is Ionescu. Pass to Stewart. Good, and Sabrina Ionescu gets the dime. 
She is just tearing it up this quarter, and I don't think this lead is gonna go anywhere while she's this hot from the field. Vandersloot with it, covered by Inescu. Here's Agumboale. Nice D from Chelsea Gray. She's trying to get them back into it, but the results haven't been there. And here's Candace Parker for three. The shot, no good. And the West will go the other way with it. Pass to Sabali. Tries again. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Candace Parker. And here is Gray. Back to Ionescu. Beyond the arc, it's good from long range. Can't give Ionescu any airspace from downtown. If you do, she'll torch you from there. Outside, Agumba Wale. Pass to Vandersloot. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Eastern All-Stars. Gray outside. Shoots over Agumba Wale. The rebound by Asia Wilson. Outside, Agumba Wale. Back to Wilson. Nice shot from the wing. Only two makes on seven shots this quarter as she has just looked lost out there in the fourth. Ionescu outside. Stewart. Deladon outside. Another three for the East All-Stars. She's their go-to scorer, and when she shoots the ball like she has today, that is what the scoreboard usually looks like. So it's the East All-Stars winning this one easily. What a great game. Anytime you get to see all these stars on the floor, it is just so special. It was also a nice little break from the grind of the regular season. Now, our entire focus is on this stretch run. And I just gotta say, I can't wait for the second half of the year.